five, four, three, two, one. All right, uh, lift off and the clock has started. Yes, sir, reading you loud and clear. Hey everyone, Randy Coppola, U.S. Launch Report and Veteran Space Report. The date, December 21st, 2015. The place, Launch Complex 40, Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. And the second attempt to launch this Falcon 9 rocket and attempt a vertical landing on Launch Complex 13. So stand by for our coverage on it. The weather looks good. We're really excited and are resetting our remotes to give you the best coverage of the launch and landing. It's a drone, isn't it? No, that's flyback. Un unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay. Quickly. Wow. Yes, as one of our friends out here, it is moving very quick. Nice. Uh oh.
There it is. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh! Wow! Yeah! 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 We're really grateful to be on board this SpaceX chartered boat. Even though the seas are a little bit rough, we're happy to be here. And also, this is the only way you can get to see it. Civilians are not cleared to go by the rocket. This being completely new and untested technology, so much analysis needs to be done. How much propellants are left on board? Things of this nature before it becomes a regular occurrence here at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Now we're approaching for the best view we've had. It's been a long ride, about two hours of rough seas, but as we're getting close to the shore, you can clearly see the crane and the preparations that they're doing to analyze that 160 foot tall booster. That booster that lit up the Brevard sky and the beaches for miles. We were told that the beaches were lined all the way up and down to Cocoa Beach and up Titusville to watch this happen. What an amazing view. 